Now, I'm not going to tell y'all law enforcement types again. Just stay back, relax, and nothing's going to happen. I'm going to talk to these here reporters for a couple minutes, finish busting this some bitch up, and then I'll go do that Monopoly thing. <sighs> Duh. Do not pass go. Go straight to jail. God, y'all are dumb as dirt. I mean, you can arrest me then. Figure I'll get a week at the most. Nice little break with meals. Okay, fellas. Let's get on with the only press conference my life will ever have. Everybody rolling? Good. I blame Jack Kerouac for this. I do. My CJ read on the road when we was in high school, and he was never the same after that. Always talking about Neil Casty driving cross country in the stolen Chevy Coupe, free in the breeze on the road, white line fever, chicks and kicks, all that. His eyes would get a certain kind of retarded looking wet look in them, and I could see he was gone. Well, fine. He had a dreamy side. I married a sorry ass anyway. <laughs> 66, if you can, if you don't mind a little irony. The root, the year. God. Of course, the real irony was marrying anybody like CJ in the late 60s, because that's when it all really started to come down. Oldest over there, that's C.H. A lot of people think we was playing name games, like combining C.J.'s first initial C with my first name, which is Haver to Grace, which is a town in Maryland I was named after by my father, another road nut, only because I was born there. And if you don't believe me, ask my brothers, Tallahassee and Fort Wayne, or my poor suffering little sister, Cherry Hill. Anyway. So people thought that, but actually C-H stands for canned heat. See, C-J would hear those kinds of songs like, On the Road Again, where that skinny little canned heat guy sings in an off-key voice. C-J get that wet look, and next thing I know, I'd be knocked up. I mean, it turned him on. And if nothing else, he was a potent little shit. He'd be gone. Off on the road. Usually this one here. Route 66. The All-American Boy's True Wet Dream. So, yep. C.H. Canned Heat Johnson. Next is my oldest girl there. She's Liza Zane, but that's only because I couldn't stand to name a girl just LZ, which would be for Led Zeppelin. Of course. I mean, those guys made a career out of leaving, splitting, rambling, every other tune, making it sound so, like, cool and tragic and fated. Uh-huh. Well, that first Led Zeppelin album came out, and off went CJ, crazed for the going, for the ramble. I thought things was going to settle in the 70s when Dixco came in. But this is about when CJ discovered Bob Dylan all over again. And next thing I know, I'm hearing, Don't think twice, it's all right. Playing all day long. And I just knew where that was going. That's Bob next to Liza Zane. And next to them is Willie Nelson Johnson. Yep. On the road again. Right. You're getting the picture. And I mean, y'all got to understand... This is not an independently wealthy man we're talking about. He'd up and leave me pregnant as you can be, and I never could face the idea of an abortion. Now, that's just me, not anybody else. I don't believe in telling other people what to do. And he'd lose his job, of course. So year after year, the road was just taking my family down the old economic scale until we had become the bottom line, so to speak. That's when I finally put my foot down. I mean, you can love and understand your man for just so long. And I said, that's it. 
No more road, no more leaving, no more babies. He argued and argued. I told him I cut his dick off. He knew I wasn't fooling, so that brought it to an end. For a while. Of course, women know men are just like dogs. And as a fellow once said, a dog's attention span is exactly twice as long as whatever you hit it with. So that one over there, the youngest, that's Clash. Yeah. When should I stay or should I go now? Pfft. Came out. You know how long CJ debated that particular question? I'll give you three guesses and the first two don't count. That was it. He never come back from that one. I didn't know what happened, whether he was alive or croaked. And it didn't rightly matter, because even when he was there, he wasn't there, you know. So I've raised them on my own. Got some in college and all, and they are great kids. The best. But that don't mean I ever stop being mad at CJ. Or this goddamn road. Or Jack fucking Kerouac. Then the phone rings this morning. Honey, I'm coming back to you, he says. Like, he just went out for pizza. I said, no way. And he wouldn't believe me. And I said, then you watch the damn news tonight and see if I ain't serious. You believe me now, you creep. All right, officers, three feet more and you can bust me if you still got the heart for it. Thanks, kids. You've done great. Anyhow, what better way to spend an anniversary, right? <laughs>